Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this video and in this video we will create a Power BI report. You must have uh, seen the picture of the report page uh, in the thumbnail. So we are going to create a similar type of report, same report basically. And uh, the data set is basically related to gym exercises. So we are going to use that data set. And this is a new playlist that I've started. And uh, in this playlist, I'll be adding videos like this where uh, we will majorly focus on the aesthetics part of the report and uh, we will try to create the report in the least possible time as well and I'll be uploading multiple videos uh, so all those videos will be added in this particular playlist right so let's begin let's say uh, first of all I want to add a background image and I also want to change the wallpaper color so I will just simply first of all expand the visualizations pane and then I'll click on format or report page and I'll then click on canvas background then browse and let's say this is the image that I want to use so I'll just simply double click on it and now let's reduce the transparency to 0% so this is the image that we'll be using in the background and uh, since I want to use black color for the wallpaper so I'll just simply expand this wallpaper section and in this colors I will select black color let's choose this color and uh, <clears throat> that's how you can choose a different background color a different wallpaper color and you can add uh, a border image right sorry background image so uh, now we will be uh, we'll bring the data to power bi desktop the data that we'll be using for creating the report so I'll just simply click here on excel workbook since uh, it's an excel sheet that we are going to use so i'll just simply click here on this option and this is the data that we are going to use so i'll just simply click on it and sheet one and load it may take some time to load all right so we can uh, look at the data we can just simply let's click on the data view and this is the data that we have so we have some columns uh, the very first column is date column then we have a uh, total number of females who visited uh, in the in the gym let's say on on that given date then we have total number of males we have total number of non residents we have total number of residents we have the location and then we have group right so in group we have different values uh, like adult homeschool preschool youth slash teen and then in location we have various values uh, like coach k yo court court one court two etc and so on you can see the different values here then we have uh, the total residence count of total residents total non residents total males and total females right so basically this is the data set that we're going to use for reporting so I'll now just simply click on the report view and let's say I want to represent these values in a card visual so uh, I can just simply click here <clears throat> on add data to your visual option and I will just simply click here on the card visual it will create a blank card for us let's place it here and now let's say on this card visual i want to represent the total number of the men so i'll just simply first of all click here on this card visual and then uh, from the data pane let's click on total males and this now represent the total number of the men right so now let's say i want to change the formatting for this particular card visual so i'll just simply click here on this card visual then uh, let's click on format your visual and now let's say we want to change the font style and color for the call out value so i'll just simply first of all click here on color and this is the color that we are going to use so we are using hash f40030 and also one more thing the image that uh, i have used uh, in this report i will be providing a link from where you can download the data set and this image right so you can easily create the report and uh, now let's say for the font style I want to select Times New Roman so I'll just simply expand the section and I will select Times New Roman 
and uh, <clears throat> let's say for the category label also we want to change the uh, font style and uh, we we want to change the color as well so i can just simply click here on category label and uh, i will change the font style from here and let's say i want the color to be white because i will i i do not want it to have any background i'll be changing that to off in a while but uh, uh, since the category label to be visible so i'm changing the color to white and now let's click on general and effects since we do not want the background so i'll change this background to off all right so this is the card visual that we are going to use also for the category label i want the uh, category label to be changed and i want that uh, we we can just simply write in place of sum of total males we can just simply write uh, count of men or we can simply write men so let's write men and that's fine so uh, this is the card visual that we have created and let's say i want to add a shadow to this card visual so i'll just simply click here on format a visual general effects and let's change this shadow to on and let's say i want to change the color of this shadow so i'll further expand this shadow section and then from this color i'll select this color only that is hash f40030 all right so this is a card visual that we have created on which uh, we are representing the count of the men now let's say i want to represent the total number of the women and i also want to represent the uh, count of the residents and count of non residents so uh, we can just simply uh, click here on this card visual that we have already created control c control v and i'll move the second card visual and let's keep it here all right and let's say in this particular card visual we want to represent the uh, women count so i'll just simply first of all remove this men field from the field pane <clears throat> and then, then i'll just simply click here on total females column and this now represents the uh, women count right so i will just first of all simply click here on this card visual and since i want the category label to be changed so i'll just simply click here on this field in the fields bucket and let's write women all right also for uh, the number that we are representing in this uh, card visual uh, with the category label as men i want the unit to be none so i'll just simply click here on this card visual then i'll click on format a visual call out value and we can change the display unit from here so i'll change it to none right all right that's fine now let's say uh, we also want to represent the count of the residents and non residents but before that since we do not want the filters pane so i'll just simply click on view tab and change this to off all right and <clears throat> now i will just simply click here on this card visual that we created control c control v let's move the second card visual and keep it here and again control c control v and let's move the other card visual and let's keep it here all right fine so in this card visual we want to represent the number of the residents so i'll just simply remove this men field from the fields bucket and then i'll click on total residence and now this card visual represents the total residence so i just want to change the category label so double click and let's name it as residence only and in the last card visual i'll just simply click here on this card visual and here i want to represent the total number of the non residents so i'll just simply uh, remove this field from the fields pane and then i'll click on total non residents and since i want to change the ca category label so i'll double click and change this to non residents all right so these are some of the card visuals that we have added now let's say we want to add some slicers to this page so i will just simply first of all click here on the blank area on the canvas and then i'll simply click here on this slicer and this will add a blank slicer for us let's place it somewhere here and we can then resize it as well all right so let's say in this particular uh, slicer we want to represent the group because we have different groups 
it may take some time all right so these are the different groups that we wanted to represent here so if i'll select any any group let's say if i select adult then uh, the numbers on the report page will get filtered accordingly right uh, if i select homeschool so the numbers will get filtered accordingly that's the thing so uh, now let's let's format this slicer that we have added to this report page so i'll just simply click here on this uh, slicer then i will click here on format your visual then uh, let's click on general effects and let's change this background to off and again uh, for the color uh, for for the font color of uh, the values i'll just simply click here on values and then i will change this to red from here and uh, we will change it to times new roman and that's fine and if you want to change this uh, slicer header to off then you can just simply change this to off and if you want to give it some title so just simply click on general and uh, we can change this title to on and let's let's write group here and let's say we want the color to be white so i can change it to white from here and let's keep it times new roman all right you can further increase the size you can keep it bold maybe let's not keep it bold all right now uh, <clears throat> similarly we want this uh, slicer to have the shadow so again i'll click here on this card visual uh, sorry on the slicer then i'll click on format a visual general effects and change this shadow to on and from here you can change the color to red now let's say i want to add one more uh, slicer to this report page and on that slicer we want to represent the location so we can just simply click, uh, click here on this slicer that we have already added to the report page Control c Control v let's move it here all right and i will uh, remove this group from the fields bucket and then i will place this location field uh, in this uh, field bucket all right and let's change the name to location in place of group we want to give the title as location so we can just simply click here on format your visual general and title and from here change it to location all right if i will select any particular location then the numbers will get filtered accordingly and then if you will select any group then also the numbers will get filtered accordingly so uh, that's all for this session so uh, this is a small report that we have created uh, you can be more creative you can uh, add different visuals and you can create uh, these type of report pages if you want to in your power bi report and i will be providing this image in the uh, in, in the link i'll be uh, providing a link and from using that link you can download this image and you can download the data set as well right so i hope this video was helpful and i hope you liked it we'll meet in the next session and i'll be coming up with more similar videos i'll be adding more similar videos to this playlist so i hope this video was helpful we'll meet in the next session till then thank you Bye bye